Morning guys, today we're going to be doing the wiring of the new array. As you saw in the last video, we have currently nine new panels mounted outside and we'll be fishing the wires in from those panels today. Uh, there'll be a total of six leads coming in and I'm going to be getting some help from our neighbor Handyman who came over yesterday with his fish tape and that fish tape uh, is long enough to reach the entire uh, 75 feet over to the array and so when he gets here we'll start pulling some wires okay we're getting ready to get started I think I hear Derek's truck in the distance so he should be here soon let's get this project rolling my solar help has arrived So what we're doing is we measured out 100 feet on the driveway. Derek's walking down with the wire and he basically, we want to measure exactly how much is on this spool. So he's just doing a loop back and forth in 100 foot increments. Nice to have a young, strong man here to help me. So as per the instructions from Handyman, we've stripped back the insulation on these wires about four inches and then actually reduce the number of strands to make it easier to hook into the fish tape. So if we had, so if we use the full, so if we use the full gauge of the wire, what will end up happening here at the, um, at the fish hook is that the head that is created as loop the wires around is actually going to be bigger than the actual wire itself. So it's easier just to trim off some of these strands here and then, and then wrap it around because it'll be much thinner and it'll be easier to pull that um, pull the wire basically through the conduit there. And then you can alternate. So if you go through one side, then you go back through the other side. So we want to take a lot of care with this because we don't want to pull our wire through the conduit and halfway one of the wires slips out or they all slip out. Um, we don't we definitely don't want that to happen after these are all secured are they going to be taped together yeah so then we tape them we tape it up with electrical tape and then we're good to go Hey there. So we've got our three positives, we've got our three negatives. We've got them all looped together. And then when we start to tape, you want to think in terms of what way you're pulling and how this is going to be going through the conduit. So we want to start at this end here and then keep overlapping until we get to this end here. So you want to start at the head. And you do want to go ahead. And you do want to really tighten this as much as you can within reason. Not to the point where you're going to break the tape obviously, but a couple layers right there where there's like a lot of of those fucking things sticking out now i gotta bleep that oh <laughs> <laughs> so i put a little bit of extra tape where there's um kind of more of the little things sticking out there i'm not i'm not a good words guy apparently on the youtube but you want this nice and tight going all the way by the way off camera derek said just hold the camera <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's good so now it's ready to pull so yeah so we want this to be tapered as much as possible so that this head here um can get around any basically not necessarily the fittings but there's usually between the fittings there can sometimes be a bit of a gap between a coupling 
um, or a connector. So we just want to make this as smooth as possible. So another layer of tape? No. Okay, so no. it's ready to go. It's, yeah, we're ready to go. Cool. Okay, the wire's all laid out, pulled out to its full length, and we're getting ready to pull. All right, so something that's really important to note, especially when you're running wires out like this, is that we don't want to be stepping on our wires. So especially with how rocky and gravelly it is, um, if you're just pulling the wire on the gravel like this, it should be fine. Um, but if you're stepping on it too, that can potentially uh, nick the insulation there. And it is going to be, um, you know, a PVC conduit. So the chances of a dead short are, are very minimal because it would have to hit another wire. But we definitely want to take as much care as possible so that we don't nick these wires up. Yeah. All right, so this is the fun, the funnest part of the job. We get to lube the wire up here, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are very comfortable with doing this. So we just put our, put some lube on there. Just, oh, just really want to get look her at in the there. technique. <laughs> Got to get the wrist going in there and everything. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do? So we're gonna get that going. I'm just gonna squirt some of the lube down the conduit there. Um, and then as we're pulling it through, I'll have Bill squirt a little bit more of this, maybe every 10 feet or so. We just want to keep this lubed up, then it just, it pulls so much easier, and the friction's not going to be as big of a, big of an issue pulling it. Okay, so Derek's in the solar shed. He's going to give the word that he's going to start pulling, and my job is to make sure this wire gets fed in smoothly and stays lubed. That Derek's a tough puller. He pulled my silicone loose off my uh, off my long sweep elbow. Tugging and pulling, that's what I do. Tugging and pulling. So we just take the tape off, and then we can cut all of our wires off here. And just yeah. restrip them. And then we got six. So that's good. And we've got our three positives and our three negatives. So we've got the combiner box off the wall and Derek is repositioning the uh, repositioning the breakers as well as the MC4 connectors coming into the box. So when I originally installed this for Bill, he said that this system was going to be moving somewhere else. Did I really? You did. I can't believe I ever said that. I really don't think I ever. <laughs> honestly, I don't think I ever said that. Otherwise, no, I wouldn't have oh, put so much work into this. No, I thought you were going to move it into your house. Now. We, we did talk about that. <laughs> okay, I'll take the blame. <laughs> because, so we only, we only have six panels up here, and I thought that this would be in a different position. So we've got to move this a little bit further away so that we can access these knockouts. There's one on that side there. Um, I don't know. I don't think that we'll use that. We might just drill a couple couple new ones but we just got to get this a little bit further away from here so that we can bring our so that we can bring our armored cable from here and kind of loop it around like that so that we have access to these guys here as opposed to going straight across the bottom so using a step drill bit Derek made two custom knockouts right up there and that'll accept also two strands of PV wire, if I'm not mistaken. So this combiner box, it can take five strings of panels, but Bill used one of the knockouts here. Um, there's another matching one on the side there. Oh, you mean the one you knocked out when we really yeah. didn't need to have it knocked out? Yeah, okay, yeah, that one. Too. Right, that right, one. right. <laughs> So Listen, I, I just, used the knockout, drilled. but just as a reminder, I used the knockout as a very important surge That's protector, which true. after I purchased them, Derek actually bought a few as well. Exactly. Hasn't installed so we, them. So yet. we made 
So we made two. So we made two custom two custom holes there that'll fit our little knockouts here, our little connectors for the MC4, and we'll just get them wired up. So the armor flex has been cut, and the ends installed, and now Derek has a piece of six gauge wire that he fished through this armor flex that will then loop up over to the charge controller. So what Derek's doing is making little jumpers to go from the MC4s that are mounted in the combiner box up to the breakers. Got the wire coming up now through the inch and a half conduit. This is part of a P-trap that I got, took the P-trap apart and just used that U fitting and then that way water driving rain can't get into this pipe. The wires are then coming up out of the pipe and if I you know had to over again I would have made this longer but I didn't so Anyways, the wires are going to come up here and are going to be stapled going across this beam. And then the connections will be complete and then it'll be time for a little wire management. The wiring is done. The cable management is complete. There's a couple little odds and ends I want to do to just clean up the, uh, the look of the, of the array. I'm going to cut these extending rafter 2x4s down so they're not protruding quite as far. I'll re then restain the ends of those. And inside the solar shed where the wires are coming up through the one and a half inch PVC conduit, I'm going to either make a cover or I have duct seal and I can fill it with some duct seal. I just want to seal it off from the uh, from any kind of bugs, critters, or elements.